Hi, I'm Lisa the Ukulele Fool, and we are going to use Whiskey in the Jar to learn E minor. It is such a fun song. I mean, how many times do you get to sing a song that says rapier in it and uh, uh, has a water pistol and terms like bold deceiver and a sport and jenny? So come and learn this with me. We'll get E minor under our chops, and I'm also going to show you a really quick way to switch from G to D7. So let's get going. Let's learn our G to E minor. So you know your G by now. E minor and G frequently go together. And E minor, I think of it as kind of like a ladder. So to make that switch from G to E minor, a couple things have to happen. One is G is one of those hand positions where you need to rock up slightly towards your headstock. But E minor, you have to do the exact opposite and, and really approach your strings in a perpendicular fashion. So you're going from a little bit up towards the headstock to sh making that shift. There's a lot of things going on here. I lead with my pointer finger, uh, taking that pointer finger from your C string, getting it set there on your A string and making it go over. So just do some slow practice time. I'm famous for watching cooking shows when I'm practicing things where I just, you know, need to get those 100 or more repetitions in, just isolating it, practicing it back and forth. When you've done that, come back and let's do a little skills and drills. Hit that like button, or the thumbs up rather, and the subscribe button, and let's do some skills and drills here. We're gonna take the pattern from the verses in Whiskey in the Jar and just drill them a little bit. So it starts with G. We're gonna do the cowboy strum. And we're gonna do four Gs four E minors, four Cs, and then ending up on four Gs, just to get us a little timing practice. So one, two, and here we go. One, two, Okay, you know, I remember when I was learning E minor, and that's when I first got serious about looking into getting a strap for my ukulele. I just found that it was so much easier to free my hand up with no responsibility for managing the weight of my ukulele by letting the strap do it. So if you're not playing with the strap already, it's something to consider. Switching up your strums is one way to really level up your playing. I say this frequently with my students, and I have a little level up feature like that in the chorus where you're going whiskey in the jar. So just some single strums on G and then a D7 and a G. Now there are three easy ways to do D7 in this first position, pretty much, you know, constraining yourself to the first three frets of your ukulele neck. But uh, sometimes going from G to D7, that's a little tough, or G, the other D7, ah, you know, I wouldn't recommend that at all. But you can do D7 just like this. Yeah, just like that. And then it's an easy hop from G to D7 and back to G, and you can do that pretty quickly. I'm going to have a whole tutorial on just like a little just 
theory discussion on what seventh chords are and how to use them and a little bit about how the various ways that the chords on your uh, ukulele fretboard here aren't always the same. Time for a play along. And there's a lot of words in this song and I'll be looking at my words while I'm doing this. If you need a copy, a good copy with the chords placed properly, along with the introduction, the chord uh, diagrams on them, please consider being one of my patrons at patreon.com. You'll have access to all my PDFs that I create for these tutorials. And additionally, at the $3 level, you get the guide to the new to uke, which makes it so much easier to negotiate Patreon. So you're just one click, click away and it takes you right to where the PDF is for it, as well as this tutorial. So thank you to all my patrons. Let's do a play along. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. And until our next tutorial, have fun with your ukulele. Spreading the ukulele love.